Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course in this class I'm going to conclude our study on esters. We looked at saponification in the uh, last episode. In this class we're going to look at soaps and detergents. Soaps and detergents. Okay, soaps and detergents. I know these are not new things to all. This is what we use every day, we see every day. Now, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jam CBD Practice app. If you want to succeed, all right, go and download the app immediately. I don't care whether I have other apps, so this one is a must have. Let's see a question from the app 2023, number 37. It said, uh, What is the chemi chemical structure of soap and detergent molecules? A, they said hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. B, it says hydrophilic tail and hydrophobic head. C says hydrophilic head and hydrophilic tail. This is hydrophobic head and hydrophobic tail. If you know one, you know no one more. So please make sure you watch it and load the application. We'll come back to this question and many more questions after the end of the class because we believe in all to the school that we will need to give you value first. Make we teach you, make you sabi so that you can answer question by yourself. All right. So please do not run anywhere. Watch the video to the end. All right. Download the application. It has all the past questions for all subjects. So no need to go and buy past questions outside. What is more? Question start feature you can start for question according to topics and the question that Jamba said on that topic will come out for you to answer. Like we search for soaps now and detergents, I will solve questions on that. Then also there are lecture notes structure according to the Jam syllabus on the apps. Some of you study with your Jam syllabus, you are doing yourself. Oh. Now please make sure you get the app. And also there's a bomb feature called the mock challenge. This mock challenge is a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for this year. Every Saturday, students come to the application, they join in the mock challenge, they participate. They get used to jam pass questions, jam likely exam questions. They see their score released every Saturday. They win amazing prizes. And of course, this builds their confidence towards the main exam. You don't want to be left out. Make sure you download the application, activate it. Activation fee is not up to the price of rice and and chicken in the restaurant to please get the application for your own good. Let's go to the board. Let's talk about soaps and detergents. Now we know what soaps are, we know what detergents are. Both of them, what do they do to clean? Okay, so a soap or a detergent is a substance that can what clean an object or what another was substance. That is all the simple word definition. Anything with it clean, anything that can clean, right? You take this my uh, my dirty cleaner now, all right? Filled with what maca ink, all right? And then you take it to what you add what soap to it. You wash. You see that what it to wash it off. Okay, so that's what a soap or a detergent what can do. Okay. In the last episode, we will talk about saponification reaction. Okay, we said that what that soaps. They are what sodium or potassium salts. Okay, we say that sodium or what potassium salt of long chain, long chain what alkanoic or carboxylic acid, what alkanoic what acids. Okay, which are the fatty acids, fatty acids. Okay, so we say that what that soaps are what sodium or potassium salt of long chain alkanoic what acid. And of course, we listed an example, example of the soap, the sodium stearate. Sodium stearate, stearate, your C18H37COONA. Okay, we also uh, uh, talked about, okay, we didn't talk about permitted, but there's another one we call sodium, sodium, not sodium, we have it. sodium palmitate, palmitate. This one is what? C15, uh, okay, C15H31COO. And A. Okay. Now this uh, sodium stearate is also called sodium sodium octadecanoid. Okay, in case you see it somewhere else, sodium octadecanoid. Why the sodium palmitate is also called what? Sodium hexadecanoid. All right, so sodium hexadecanoid or sodium octadecanoid. This is sodium stearate, which is sodium octadecanoid. And this is what sodium uh, palmitate, which is what sodium hexadecanoid. Okay, so now that is what for soaps. All right, and then we talked about, um, okay, we didn't talk about detergent basically. So uh, basically, it's very important to know that what once you have your soaps, and your detergents, they are all what, the same. Okay, your soap is to clean, your detergent is what is to clean. It's just that the naming is what is different. Okay, the naming is just what is different. All right, and then we say that what if you have your detergent like this, they are both called detergent because they clean, 
If you have your detergents like this, we have what we call the soapy detergents. Okay, and then we now have one we call the soapless detergent. Okay, soapless detergent. This soapy detergent are the one we call the soap themselves. The soapy detergent are the one we call soap, while the soapless detergent are the one we call the detergent. Okay, so please take note of that. So he, 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 another name for soapless detergent is what the detergent. Uh, another name for soapy detergent is what the soaps. Do not misconstrue it. Do not confuse yourself with no good. Okay? So, soapless detergent is detergent. Soapy detergent is what? It's soaps. Okay? Am I, am, I, am I making sense now? All right? So, please take note of that. Let us stick to your what? To your medulla obloganta. Now, let us continue. So, we have seen now, and we said that what? That the uh, soaps that are made from what? They are made from what? From long chain arcanoic acid. Okay? That means in their structure, the structure of soaps. We definitely would have what a carboxylic what a uh, group in the what in the structure. So it, soap is either what R O C O O minus N A plus. Okay, this is the carboxylic carboxylic what acid group, and then or R O C O O K plus. Okay, this is what for soaps. For soapless, we did the detergent. Okay, it's that part that we have not talked about, but it is important to know. That detergents that are made from what? Alkyl benzene sulfonic acid. Alkyl benzene sulfonic sulfonic what? Acid. Okay? So, uh, detergents are made from alkyl benzene sulfonic acid. Unlike, unlike soaps that are made from long chain alkanoic acid or that are made from alkanoic acid. Detergents that make for sulfonic acid, sulfonic acids. Okay, so the structure of detergents will be like this: alkyl benzene sulfonic acid. So I'm going to have an R group. Then I'm going to have our benzene ring. All right. Then I'm going to have our what now? SO3 minus Na plus. Okay. So this is the structure. Okay, of what? Of detergent, okay, it's an alkyl benzene sulfonic acid, okay, it's a salt, okay, it's a salt that I see Na plus here, all right, so it's still a salt, but it's what it's an alkyl benzene, it is made from sulfonic acid, but this one is made from what carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid or alkanoic carboxylic acid or what alkanoic what acid. So please, you must take note of that, and it is because of this reason, because this detergent that are made from sulfonic acid, it is the principal reason. Take note. The principal reason why detergents are more soluble in water than what than soaps. Okay, it is the principal reason why detergents are soluble in water are more soluble in water than soap. And another important thing is that they do not form scum with hard water. Detergents do not form what we call scum. Scum with what with what with hard water it does not form scum with hard water. Detergents. They ladder readily. They ladder very well in what? In what? In water. Okay? They ladder very well. They ladder readily in what? In water. Take note of that. So those are advantages, okay, of uh, detergent over what? Soaps. Detergents, what? They do not form scum with hard water and they ladder readily with what? With water. All right? And again, the structure, the structure, there's something about the structure of what? Soaps and detergents. Okay? Either soaps or detergent. Note that what? Soaps or detergent, they both have what you call hydrophobic tail. Hydrophobic tail. Okay? And hydrophilic head. Okay, please take note of that. Either soaps or detergent, they both have what we call hydrophobic tail and hydrophilic what head. Okay, hydrophobic. Hydro means water. Phobic means fear. Okay, this is this means water. Okay, this one means what? Fear. Okay, that means that what? That the tail, the tail, the tail, the tail of what? Of a soap or detergent, the tail is what? Is hydrophobic. It fears water. It does not interact with water. It does not interact with water, but the head is hydrophilic. It interacts with water. The tail interacts with oils, okay, or grease and so on and whatever. But of course, it does not interact with what with water. The head is hydrophilic. It is the part that what that interacts with water. With water. So mostly, sometimes we present was uh, uh, soaps or detergent like this. Okay, like this. Okay, where this head now? He said that if if for soap or for if it's for uh, so it's, it will be a carboxylic acid, okay? But if it's forward for uh, detergent, it's, more, it's, a, it's a phonic acid, okay? So this is how we present what then. This is the tail, 
This one is the what is the head. Okay, this tail is what is hydrophobic. Why this word head is what hydro what is hydrophilic. So please take note of what of this structure. Okay, take note of this structure of what of soaps and detergent. Now another okay, we'll talk about advantages. Okay, of what detergent over soap. Like we we'll say for example, detergents are more soluble in water than soaps. Detergent do not form scum with hard water. Detergents lather readily with water, but of course, soaps, they are biodegradable. It's an advantage, okay, of what? Of soaps over detergents, they are what? Biodegradable. Biodegradable, okay? Biodegradable, we're talking about the fact that soaps, they are what? Environmentally friendly. They are very, very what? Environmentally what? Friendly, okay? They are not effective in what? In hard water or saline water. They are not effective in hard water or saline water, but they are what they are eco they are what economically or sorry, they are environmentally very, very, very friendly. So that is why um uh, uh th that is an advantage rather of what of soaps over detergent. So biodegradability of what of soap is an advantage of soaps over detergent. Take note of what of that. <clears throat> now uh uh, okay, okay. Someone, someone, may, someone may want to ask, what does biodegradable mean? Biodegradable means is the ability of what of a substance to be to be broken down into what smaller, smaller pieces is or into, into smaller particles by microorganisms. Okay, so that is all biodegradable. So soaps are what biodegradable is an advantage of soaps over detergents. All right, so uh, these are this all just to know about soaps and detergents. Okay, not much. If if I forgot anything, I think the next episode or before we are done with chemistry, I will let you know. Now let us go to the application, answer some question and run out of here. This is a question, a 2023 question. Okay, uh, number 37. We said, what is the chemical structure of soap and detergent molecules? Okay, and obviously the answer is on the board here. Yeah? Hydrophobic tail, hydrophilic head. Okay, hydrophilic head, hydrophobic tail. So that is option A. Correct. Let's move on. No time to waste. 2003, number 15. They say the structural component that makes detergent dissolve more quickly in water than soap is what? It's obviously the possession of what this sulfonic group. Okay, SO3, SO3 minus NA plus. All right, so correct answer is option A, as shown there. Now, 2008, number 50. It says detergent are manufactured with straight with straight hydrocarbon chains so as to make them detergents are manufactured with straight hydrocarbon chains so as to make them what a they say soluble b biodegradable c cheaper d foaming the reason why they do that is was to make them what biodegradable so they can be easily what broken down into smaller what particles okay now let us go on uh 2021 number uh two they say detergent are much better than soap for laundry because they are much better than soap for laundry because a detergent are synthetic while soaps are not. B detergent are more soluble in water than soaps. C scum is precipitated when soaps are used with hard water, but not with detergent. Correct answer is just option C. D they say soaps are in bars while detergent are in powder form. Correct answer is what is C. Okay, scum is precipitated when soaps. Are used with hard water, but not with detergent. Okay, so now if you look at this question, D will have been maybe another correct answer. Okay, uh, B will have supposed to be a more and another more correct answer. But which one is it? Which one? Which one looks like a sensible answer to pick there? Okay, correct answer there is so option C. It's come is precipitated with when soaps are used with hard water, but not with hot with detergent. Looks more like what? Like a like an educative answer to what to pick. And do any of those were true surface reasons. That's why we'll go with option C. All right, so uh, thank you so much for watching. All right, uh, okay, let us see one more question. 2017, number three. They say an advantage of detergent over soap is that detergents A are brightly colored, B are in powdered form, C lather readily with water, D are readily available. Option. Correct answer there is also option C, the lather readily with water. All right, so please. In the next class, I'm going to work, move to what to Amax. So thank you for watching. My name is Master T, the Grand Commander of this army. Soldiers, keep reading. I'll see you there. Thank you for watching.